IronCAD now has the ability to link to specific outlines of a sketch when uh, doing an extrude or spin or, or any of the uh, IntelliShape creation commands. So you see we uh, select our uh, outline and we uh, click under selected outlines and pick the specific outline that we want and it goes ahead and ignores the rest of the geometry during the extrusion there. So we can set that extrusion height to where we want it and we can go back in extrude again and we're going to make a feature of that part and then under here select the sketch and again go to so go down to selected outlines and then select outline and pick the uh, elements of the outline that you want to extrude for the next feature in this case we'll remove material and hit OK to create those outside holes now again we go back to uh, extrude pick the part and then the sketch again Go back to selected outlines and we'll pick that uh, boss uh, circle there, flip the direction and put in an extrude distance, hit OK and it creates just that boss. OK and then we'll go back to extrude one last time and again select the part, select the sketch, go to selected outlines, we'll just pick that center hole we use uh, Control Alt to select that center uh, element, and again, we want to remove material and uh, cut that out there. Okay, so at this point, uh, we can go ahead and add a, a blend in here just to uh, finish off the part. Now, the part is also um, linked to that sketch, so if I go in and edit the sketch and make any changes, we'll go ahead and we'll add some dimensions to the, uh, the sketch there from the outside to the center. We can double click that dimension and edit it. And we'll go ahead and just do the same thing on the other side. And what we're showing here is just the ability to uh, put some constraints on the on the geometry and, and dimension that and edit the part. And you see when we finish the part completely updates based on the sketch. Again uh, you can use the profile handles like you always have in IronCAD and edit the sketch that way. Or we can go ahead and put some dimensions uh, again on the sketch and for the holes. We'll put a quarter inch hole there. And then we'll use the uh, equal length constraint to make uh, all the holes equal. So we'll just go through and, and tag those uh, to each other so they're all equal. Now when we update the dimension, all the holes will update. We'll hit finish there and again the part regenerates.